Good morning. It is Wednesday and I'm Janet Cartwright. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm working this week with translucent florals. Um, but just a side note about celebration. If, um, if you want products, if you spend $60, you get a level one. If you spend $120, you get a level two. Um, or you can have two level ones. Let me just grab the catalog and show you because there are some fun things in here and there's also more online. Um, so beware of that. <clears throat> and you can do online inclusive, exclusives. You can do um, the clearance rack. As long as it adds up to 60, then you can have a level one from here. And when we turn the camera down, I'll show you. Um, but one of the things about signing up right now is there's a glass mat that's amazing. I don't have mine yet, um, <clears throat> but it's available to those who sign up. So new demonstrators. Um, some demonstrators were able to purchase beforehand, um, but it's, you know, for signing up. Uh, so you get a, you purchase 135, but you get 165 of product plus a glass mat, which is absolutely amazing. And if you choose not to get the glass mat, then you can have 41 extra dollars in your kit. So that would be $206 worth of product for only 135, no tax, no shipping. And then after that, um, you can, you get 20% discount on everything. And while well, celebration's still on till February 29th, you would get celebration items. You don't get celebration on the kit, but on your purchases thereafter and your 20% discount lasts as long as you're a demonstrator and you don't have to sell, you don't have to, you know, do anything, just have fun. Maybe get a group of friends and get together and stamp. I've met so many friends through Stampin' Up. We're all card crafters, paper crafters, and our level of skills is all so very different but it's so much fun from le about learning from each other. Um, and it's, it's awesome. Um, I've been using Stampin' Up! products for well over 15 years. Um, and I've signed up before as just a hobby, hobby demonstrator. Loved it, had no problems. I think, I don't know how many years I was a hobby demonstrator. And then this time around, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make a little business out of it because I wanna meet friends. Um, more paper crafting buddies to just, you know, you want to paper craft on Friday at one? Great. Let's get together. Um, it can be on Zoom. It can be on Facebook. It can be on, you know, whatever, a live video call, just chatting and crafting together. It's just so much fun when you craft with others. Um, so if you would like to sign up under my team, that would be great. Welcome. <clears throat> um, and have fun shopping, exploring the catalog. So let me turn you down and I'll show you a little bit of celebration and the translucent florals. So here we go. My light right there in the way. All right, so the celebration, move this stamp out of the way. So the first few pages are $60. So for $60, every time you spend it, you get a level one. These are level one. So you can get Sunny Days Designer Series Paper. You can get Watercolor Melon Stamp Set. Flight and Airy. I have like two packs of this paper I've almost finished. It is awesome. Very, oh my goodness, you can do so much with it. It's so pretty. And the catalog here gives you some ideas of what you can do with it. And then over here, Cradled in Love. Look how cute that cradle is. And then here I've got softly stippled and I've used almost a pack of that. Um, now remember this catalog is from the 4th of January to the 29th of February. So I've had a good month and a bit to play with it and I've been playing. There's most adored here, de designer series paper. And then this stamp set here Dad, you're the best. Hello. Happy Mother's Day. Love you more. Enjoy your day. Thinking of you this Easter. Then there's Trusty Toolbox that goes with 
um, the stamp set, I think it's Trusty Tools. And I've used up a pack of that paper as well. <clears throat> perfect. This paper is perfect for anyone who does any sort of um, woodcrafting, right? Like anybody or a builder, or carpenter, like anybody. And then here, these are cute. I've got this. I haven't used it yet. Hmm. Maybe next week. Um, so, so cute. Oh, I just love these little critters. Um, just to, they would make such fun, fun cards. Look at these ones. How fun is that? This guy, he's smiling and in the, in the swamp. So fun. Now, here we go up to level two. Um, Jungle Pals um, dies which goes with the Jungle Pals stamp set. Uh, I have to think of where that is. No, that's what happens, right? Um, now this one is softly sophisticated and it comes with um, an embossing folder. So lots of opportunities there. And detailed dogwood, again, comes with a $120 purchase and it coordinates with the Petal Park Builder Punch. And then, like I say, online um, under Paper Pumpkin, there are a lot more um, that you can choose from. Um, the in color, I think it is markers, um, are available to choose. I think that might be a level two, maybe a level one. Anyways, look online as well for um, the um, celebration items that are online and um, they've added some so they're online as well as in the catalog but online has more so today I'm using the P papers this is parakeet party and I'm using pretty peacock so there you go so fold against the score line and just reinforce it and then I'm going to put that aside for a minute. I'm going to use Pretty Peacock as the very base. No, I guess this is the base. So the next layer. Then I'm going to use the Parakeet Party as the next layer. So I can put those two together. And actually, I can put them right on the card base, right? Because that's not going to change. I'm not going to pop them up. So there we go. Get this one. Bring this down a little bit. Oh, and here's the host code for this week. Um, so if you purchase from my store, the link for this stamp set is on Monday's video. Let me know if you'd like me to send you the link because I certainly can do that. Um, so if you purchase from my store this week, then I know I will send you um, the five card kits from this week. Um, so this code tells me which card kits for which week that you would like to, to have. Oh, there you go, ink. Okay, so this I can just put right on my card base. Yes, so when you order from my store, I give you the card kits for that week. Um, just remember to use the host code of the week. That's why I always have a date up there. Um, so you can choose and you can look back on the videos and see and if the host code doesn't work, let me know and oh, that's the beauty of the glue. It moves and we can figure something out. There we go. Okay. Push down, not around. So there's the base. Then what I did is using deckled circles. Here we go. Deckled circles dies. Look how many dies there are in here. So fun. So what I did, nope, that one is for that one. The other one popped. This is why you put them always back. So I chose this one and I cut it out of just basic white. Um, and then I chose the next ring up, circle up, and did pretty peacock. So one circle fits inside the other and it's gonna give me a little bit of an edge. I could have done two at the same time, but I wanted two separate colors. So what I'm gonna do with this one is my flower, 
and I'm going to do it in, so I'm doing this flower today, these leaves, this center, don't remember the name, I think it starts with an H, and then our stem. So we have them all here. I'm going to do the flower in Pretty Peacock. Okay, you know what? I seem to have from my thing there. Okay, get a flat surface there. And I'm going to put it up a little bit. Don't rock. You can push the image, but don't rock. There we go. I'm going to close that because otherwise, as you can see, I stick my hand in it. And then I'm going to find the leaves. And I'm going to put the leaves on first. And then I'm going to take my stem and see if I can line it up with the leaves. So it looks like the leaves are on the stem. Oh, I rocked. Shoot. Well, goodness, excuse me, you know what, I'm not very happy with that, so I'm going to get another deckled circle. Take that smaller die, and I'm going to take this paper over here, I think I should cut two instead of just one. So get this on my, this time I'm using the big um, stamping cut and emboss machine just because my paper is big. Um, if I'd chosen smaller paper, cut this one down to size, I could have probably used my mini. But you know what, for the sake of time, okay, see if you look at this, see the edging there that's not really on that side, that's kind of pretty. But I like this edging, which is why I cut another piece. I'll use that one for something else. Okay, so let's do this so don't rock the stem. All right, and I was pretty on too. All right, let's put that one down. Close the ink pad. This one I left open, so... All right, you move over a little bit. Oh, maybe I didn't rock. Maybe it was the paper. I have a bump in my paper. Okay. What do you think, guys? Can I do this? Okay. Do not. Oh, you know what? I do feel the paper there. Let's do it over here. Hopefully you can still see me. All right. All right. Cross your fingers. Oh, yes, everybody cross their fingers. Thank you. And then, oh, there's a tiny bit of a rock. Maybe I have to trim that. Yeah, I might have to see that edge. It's pretty inky. I might have to trim that up a little bit. Well, I won't tell if you won't tell. And then I'm going to put this, pop it up on there. No, hmm. No, I'm going to put it flat on here, and then I'm going to pop it up on the card. Okay. Now, because this, these are both circles, it doesn't matter which direction I put them in. There we go. And I'm going to use the big Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'll probably use four because it's a pretty big circle right maybe one in the middle why not dimensionals are fun and get those in the garbage get those ones in the garbage move all my inked stuff out of the way now i'm gonna put it hmm, i think this way I'm going to put a little bit higher. Yes, I like that. Then what I did is this is from Tags and More More Tailor Made Tags. So there's a lot of these are tags that I've cut out and are waiting to be used. So I took one from here because I'm using the word congratulations and 
it fit perfectly. So I cut this one out and so I have my shape ready. Put that back in its case. And I'm going to do this in, let's do Pretty Peacock. I had no idea that I chose all peas until I did my Facebook Live. <clears throat> okay, come here. Now, moving over here, let's try and get this kind of in the middle. I think I went down. Oh, I love it. <clears throat> so... Then we're going to have some fun with some ribbon. Where did I put my ribbon? So this is Parakeet Party. I'm getting all my peas confused. I need my tear and tape. Wait a minute. I want the bottom, which is this side. And then I'm going to come up this side. Tape and tear. Tears so easily. It's great. And then put that in the garbage. And that in the garbage. Now, I suppose I guess I don't need my, oh, my mat. Oh no. All right. There's a silicone mat that I like to use. But it's not readily available. So I'm just going to make like a scallop on the bottom here. There we go. And then of course, oh, maybe I better pull that one up a little bit. And then into the corner or around the corner. And I do it. See what I think I want and what the ribbon wants to do or sometimes Two very different things. Anybody else come across that? Yeah, you need to go down. There we go. Just need it to be pushed on to the tape. All right, now I need to just snip off the end. Now, normally you would cut on an angle so that the ribbon doesn't fray. So I'm not too worried about the ribbon on my card, but this end, it could fray. And then what I do is line it all back up. That was probably pretty close to the camera. And then just stick a pin in it and it stays. So now we have congratulations. There we go. But you know, I'm gonna pop this up as well so that it's on the same level as my flower. So here we go. Put that right on top of the ribbon. Help that to stay in its spot. And right on top of the edge. And the large dimensionals are easy to get off. Or the backings. The um, mini dimensionals. I've learned how to use my um, take your pick tool to get them off. So that's another thing you could add to your starter kit. Your take your pick tool which is this one right here. Wonderful. And the putty in for picking things up. Oh, so nice. Okay, let's move this over just a tiny bit. Did I push it down? Oh, I may have pushed it down, but we're just going to move it a tiny bit. Okay, I like it. Now push it good and hard. Now we need some bling. Of course, every card needs a little something. Take your pick tool. I am going to put... One of these, this is a 2022 to 24 in color, and that's Parakeet Party, Pool Party. I think it's Fresh Freesia. I'm going to put a big one right there. Then I'm going to use these ones here, Petal Pink and Pretty Peacock Foiled Gems. See the gold specks in there? Isn't that pretty? Love, 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 love them. Love them? Love them. Okay, let's use big. I'm going to put one up there and one down there. So, so pretty. Okay. Then on the inside, we need to do something. So, wishing you all the happiness in the world. Congratulations. 
Wishing you all the happiness in the world. So I like to decorate my inside pieces as well. Um, there we go. I'll put the scissors away. Put this towards the top. And then underneath that, I'm going to put the flower, but in Parakeet Party. So I need to wash off my flower because I looks like I had Parakeet Party on it. Love my cleaning sponge. So easy and quick. And all right. Now let's get this right in the middle-ish. Oh, such a nice color combination, eh? It worked out really well. So then this is ready to go inside my card. There we go. Not too much because you don't want it too damp, otherwise the card will wrinkle. Because it is just paper, right? So anything too wet, paper that's too wet will wrinkle. It's just the nature of paper. There we go. Congratulations. Wishing you all the happiness in the world. How fun. And that can go for any occasion. Let me turn you around. Hello. So this card, congratulations, it can actually go for anything. It can be birthday, retirement, um, going on a cruise for the first time, just about anything. Um, wishing you all the best. Thank you for joining me today. Um, tomorrow is Thursday. I will not be here, but I'll put another video up and it will be with translucent florals. Lots more fun to come. Take care and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.